Kichkilem Juan de la Cruz Puc, the Maya prophet, the Crusoe Messiah, the indigenous Christ, one of the enigmas of the Maya. There is so little known about this person, except that he was a maestro cantor, a helper of a priest, and he was exposed to both the Roman Catholic and the Maya spirituality. In the village of Shokinka, there was a saint also named Santissima Cruz Tun, or Yum Santissima Cruz Tun, which highly influenced Juan de la Cruz. When the rebellion exploded in 1847, Juan de la Cruz joined the Maya liberation. But by 1849, 1850, the Maya were losing the war. They were disillusioned and they went to hide in the jungles of Quintana Roo. Juan de la Cruz Puc was among those Maya fighters who hide in the jungle, disillusioned, tired, hungry, and seeing that the dream of living in a land free of oppression was getting farther. The Maya Masawal settled to rest close to a cenote. Kichkilem Yum Juan, thinking of Shokenka, his home, and all the current events, he rose his eye in a mahogany tree where he saw a sign of a cross. Yum Ku, Kichkilem Yum, Hahalku sent a sign of hope. The voice of God was speaking to him. Juan heard a voice coming from the tree. He was not the first nor the last to hear God. Kichkilem Yum Juan wrote the words of God. His writings became known as the Santo Alma Tan, translated to the Holy Commandments or the Law. These commandments are now to be spread among the liberators of these lands. God has spoken, so his messages be kept in our hearts to make us fearless. The miraculous event made us the chosen people of God and to remind us to defend our holy land, the holy city of Noca, Santa Cruz, Ishbalamna, Campo Colche, was founded. The Yucatec Maya fighters became known as Maya Masawal or Crusub Maya, the soldiers of the cross, the soldiers of God, and the defenders of the Holy Land. The message written that day by Kichkilem Yum Juan de la Cruz spoke, the Maya prophet was, On the 15th of October, I began to speak, and I was born in this world in the year 1850. I, Juan de la Cruz came to live in the village of Ishbalamna. I left my town from Shokenka. There I was falling under the cave, and there I came out from below the cave. My people of Noca, Santa Cruz, Ishbalamna, Compocolcheca, because the time and the air have come for Yucatan to rise up against the whites once and for all, so I am letting you know that I will send you a sign so that you have the necessary courage in your hearts. That is I who will accompany you at all hours. It is I who will go before you in front of the enemies to the end that there not befall you, not even a bit of harm. Oh, my Masewal children, the enemy will never win. Only the crucible can win for this reason my beloved men i will never abandon you to the enemy i will accompany you myself the day is not far when the true believers will recover the free possessions of their lands words of kichkilem yom juan de la cruz book the maya prophet the cruz of messiah what happened to kichkilem yom juan de la cruz book is one of the enigmas of the mayab some believe that he was killed by the white Yucatecos, unrecognized, while others believe that he went to heaven with Hahalku, and from there he continues to watch over his Maya Masawal children. He continues to hear their prayers. He continues to be the intermediary between God and the Masawal, and he continues 
to send messages to his children, the Maya Masewal. <laughs>